Jordan and I'm so excited because I have such an exciting video for you today and basically I'm going to be making this thing that I'm sitting on right here. It's like a swing that's kind of attached to my bed and believe it or not, it's made out of a skateboard. So I'm so excited because this is the first in a new series that I'm doing and I'm not sure what it's going to be called yet but you guys should comment down below and tell me what I should call it and basically it's where I take Pinterest and Tumblr ideas and I recreate them and show you how I do them but I kind of add my own twist to it. So as you can see this is where I got the idea on how to make this except that was kind of an outside swing type thing and I wanted to make mine more into like an inside seat kind of like that kind of goes in my room decor and everything like that so that's why I decorated it like this to match my room so yeah this was actually surprisingly really cheap to make and also as you can see I have a pillow here and I also have another sparkly pillow but it's not here right now it's red and sparkly and really cool I made them out of old shirts and it's a no sew project and then you should subscribe because that will be next week's video and if it's already up I'll link it in the description below so you can watch it and let's just get started with this video Okay, so for supplies you'll need an old skateboard and it honestly does not matter the condition it's in because this one's cracking and like falling apart but it still works. Then you'll need some rope and I just got mine at Joann's. And also a hot glue gun and lots and lots of fabric and other decorations that you might want to use. So start off by peeling the top off of the skateboard and I started off by using pliers and then I switched to my hands to peel it off and it was actually fairly easy. This part is actually optional but since my skateboard had a bunch of cracks in it and it was kind of falling apart I just used some duct tape and taped up wherever I wanted to and just kind of ended up taping the whole entire board pretty much just to make it a lot stronger and just to make sure that it wouldn't break or anything like that but like I said this part is optional. I wanna rewind. <laughs> Then I just had my dad drill some holes in the skateboard where I wanted the ropes to be and since the drill bit wasn't big enough he had to drill a few holes in a, like, a little square or triangle or something and then connect them together so that it would be big enough to fit the rope through. The hands of the back again. Time stop and then I just kind of cleaned up the holes a little bit and just cut the excess pieces by using a piece of sandpaper, I rolled it up and stuck it in the inside and then kind of twisted it around so that it made the inside a lot smoother. And I just repeated that for all of the holes. Then I'm taking my t-shirt and just cutting it down the side so that it's bigger. And then I'm just going to be laying that on top of the skateboard and it should fit all the way across, which it does. Then I just cut off the section so that it fits better. And then just using a hot glue gun, I'm just going to hot glue it to my board. and then flip it over and glue the bottom part and yeah try to make it as neat as possible and if you want to you can even take another section and put it over the part on the bottom so that it looks a little bit neater but no one's probably going to see that anyway so it doesn't really matter that much. Then I'm taking another t-shirt and cutting strips from the bottom of it and I'm using two whites and one red strip and then I'm just stretching it out and cutting it in half so that it's not a loop anymore and then I'm just tying a knot and braiding them all together and the braid should be pretty long because it has to go around the skateboard and you're gonna have to braid a bunch of these. I ended up doing like 27 or something like that. I don't remember, it was a lot. And because it has to go like all the way around your skateboard. And then I also found out after doing this for a long time that you might wanna braid the braids really loose because when you do them looser, they tend to look a little bit bigger and you are able to do less braids. So yeah, I just braided and it took a very long time but you can watch TV or do something like that while you're braiding. Then once I finished braiding them all I just laid them out on the skateboard where I wanted them to be and then I just glued them down and I didn't want all of the lengths to be equal and even so I just kind of like scattered them so they looked a little bit more like I don't know messy I guess. Then just using my scissors I'm poking and cutting the holes where the ropes need to go through. 
Then for extra decoration, I just glued this rose trim along the edge of the skateboard because I thought it just looked cute and so I did it on both sides of the skateboard. Then as you can see, I'm hanging up my swing in my room under my loft bed because it just kind of fits there. And then I just taped the ends of the rope so that it's easier to put through the holes. And then I just strung them through and tied knots at the end. Then I did the same thing with the other side and just tied knots to make sure that it was even. And then if it wasn't even or if I wanted it to be higher, then I just tied more knots. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then since I had extra rope left over, I actually used part of it and I tied it at the bottom of one of the ropes hanging down. And then I kind of zigzagged it, zigzagged it to the other side and tied another knot and then did that the same back and forth just a few times until I ran out of rope. After I did that, I used some hot glue and I just hot glued them just to make sure that they would stay in place. Then I just cut off where the tape was and the little excess part of the rope. So this is what it looks like when it's all done and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It took me literally the entire day to make this but it was so worth it and I think it like goes perfect with my room and matches everything and it's the perfect spot for it. And next week will be how to make these pillows and it's also part of the same series, the Pinterest Tumblr DIY series. So you should definitely subscribe if you want to see that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it and I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys all later. Bye. Better off without you And no time I'll be forgetting all about you You're saying that you know But I really, really doubt you Understand my life is easy When I ain't around you Iggy, Iggy, too biggie to be his present I'm thinking I let the thought of you More than I love your presence And the best thing now Is probably for you to exit I let you go, let you back I finally learned my lesson